Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gut. Today we're making Swedish street food. We're making korma mousse or vesco salad. Now this is something you get in every kind of street kitchen. That's what it's called in Sweden. Gatukök, so street kitchen. And it's just fried Wiener sausage with mashed potatoes and the uh, Vesco salad, which is translated into West Coast salad, is a kind of mayonnaise based shrimp and mushroom salad. And obviously, we need ketchup with that as well. Some eat it with both mustard and ketchup, but I prefer just ketchup. Now, korma mousse, so sausage and mash, it's the classic. And then it's all about toppings. You can normally have hamburger dressing, or you can have West Coast salad, or you can have normal shrimp salad, or you can just go for a, a kind of toned down one with just mustard and ketchup, or just ketchup. But my standard order when I eat this kind of street food in Sweden is West Coast salad. So we'll have a look at the board. It's not much there. But uh, before we do that, please do me the huge favor. If you're not supporting the channel yet, do so by hitting the subscribe button and checking the bell icon. The bell icon lets you get notification every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. So please hit those two if you haven't done so yet. But now let's have a look at the board. So we have our ketchup, whatever brand you want. We have our mash, we have our Wiener sausages, and we have our Vesco salad, our West Coast salad. Now, normally when you order this, they ask you boiled or grilled, and that's in terms of the sausage. Now, it's not really grilled when you order grilled, it's just fried. And that's how I prefer it, so we'll just fry up the sausages. And then they ask you about the topping. So my standard would be Vesco salad and ketchup. But let's first have a look at how we did the mash. For our classical potato or mashed potato, we have floury potatoes, a kilo. We have 200 grams of butter. You need a lot of butter. We have some normal milk. Nutmeg, pepper, and salt. Put on some water, some salty water, to boil the potatoes. Then we'll cut them up quickly. Boil them, and then we'll put everything together. So we're not making a potato puree, which is kind of finer. We're just making a mash. And that's the way I like to eat it with korma mousse. It shouldn't be too, too refined everything. I mean, in the end, it's, it's street food, and it should it should kind of be street food. Now I'm just cutting up the potatoes so that they will cook a bit quicker. You don't have to worry what it looks like. Just try to get it similar size, everything. But in the end, you're just gonna mash it up anyways. But it's just to save on time. So that's it. And as you can see, I, I didn't water them because you want as much starch still in there as possible. Now put them in your water, boil them until they're done, and then we'll take it from there. So I'll see you in a bit. Our potatoes are boiled. I have one of these to mash it up. I'm also gonna mix in the butter now so that it can melt. We'll put in maybe, that's uh, 160 grams to start with. And then we'll see, but we'll probably use all of it. Mash this up well. So this is mashed potato, right? So we don't mind a little bit of lumps in there. Put the rest of the butter in. Our nutmeg. Black pepper. And a good pinch of salt. We'll leave the salt here, we might need some more. Mix it well. We'll mix in a bit of milk as well. Now if you want this really creamy, you can also mix in a bit of cream. But we have enough butter in here. Take your time, incorporate the milk well. The potato will suck up quite a lot of milk. Let's get a spoon, give it a bit of a try. Mm -hmm. 
nutmeg is there. We're still missing a bit of salt, a good pinch, one and a half, and a bit more pepper. We'll add a little bit more milk. And you can do this uh, a bit in advance and warm it up again. And all you need to do then is add a bit of milk when you warm it up. And another tip, when you get leftovers, just leave it in the fridge until the next day. And then you can form patties and fry them. Tastes amazing. Last try. Mm. Perfect. That's our puree. Well, not puree, our mash. So easy enough, and it's keeping warm back there. So I'll put this back in and warm everything up with a bit of milk. And let's also have a look at how we did our West Coast salad. The ingredients for our West Coast salad, main ingredient, shrimp and mushrooms. We also need dill, some lemon, we have some creme fraiche, and we have ingredients for mayonnaise, egg yolks, vinegar, Dijon mustard, and some neutral oil. It's basically a mayonnaise-based shrimp salad. Um, these are Swedish shrimp, amazing. I peeled them last night, because if you, they don't keep so long if they're not peeled. So I got them delivered yesterday, we had for dinner. And then I peeled them and kept them in the fridge like this. So we could make Vesco salad today. But the first thing we need to do is to prep the mushrooms. We're gonna cut them up and then we're gonna fry them. And then we'll make the mayonnaise and then we'll mix everything together and make sure that it tastes good. So I'll see you in a second. So with the mushrooms, we take off the stem and now we're just gonna slice them. Not too thin, I would say two, three millimeters, probably three millimeters. So do that to all of your mushrooms and then we're gonna put them in the frying pan over there and fry them up. Our mushrooms have been cut. The pan is hot. Pepper. And salt. And while they are frying away, we can chop up our dill and we put that to the side as well. And it's good, you can use this time to also make the mayonnaise. So we'll clear this up and get prepped for the mayonnaise. Our egg yolks go in. One of them broke, so we have to scrape it out. A little bit of vinegar. I would say that was a good teaspoon. And we also put a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. A good pinch of salt. And now we're basically ready to mix this up. But don't forget to toss your mushroom a little bit in between. And as always with mayonnaise, slowly does it. So we first now mix the egg with the vinegar, the, um, the mustard and the salt. Now we'll start with this, but it's gonna be loud, so I will cut until it's done. There we are, it's a relative firm mayonnaise, but that's because we are mixing in creme fraiche as well. So get this sorted. Our mushrooms are al almost done as well. I'll see you in a second when we mix everything together. So we can mix in our mushrooms. some creme fraiche, just to cool them down. Bit of shrimp, we might not need everything, a good, good handful. Bit of lemon juice. And you know what, let's put all of the shrimp in. What's left over is great on a sandwich. Obviously when you buy this, um, on your sausage with mash, on your corme mousse. It's done with canned shrimp, canned champignons, canned mushrooms. And this just gives it so much more taste 
and it's so much nicer. Let's put the rest of the creme fraiche. And our mayo. And mix this. So now it's all about making it taste good if it's not already. A little bit of salt and some pepper. Good pinch and some white pepper. And this is fast food, so some aromat goes in as well. Some MST. Give it another taste. Mm. That's perfect. So our West Coast salad or West Coast salad is done. West Coast. Now put it in the fridge, and that's about it. As easy as that. Now put this back in the fridge, this back in the pot, and let's fry up our sausage. But I'm not gonna film it, because anyone can fry sausages. So I have the pan on there, and we're just gonna put this, they come in pairs, and we just put them on and fry them up. So I'll see you in a bit when they're done. So we're gonna pipe this up now because uh, it's an easy way to make it look a little bit decent for street food. Normally in um, Sweden when you order this, you get it served in kind of a paper tray. They put the sausages in and then they use kind of an ice cream scooper, a larger size, and they put two scoops on top and then comes the topping. But we'll pipe the, the mash first. And then our sausages on top, and then the toppings. But before we put the toppings on, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. Do me the huge favor, hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, takes you a second, but for me it's really valuable to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. So please do me the favor, thumbs up. But now let's add the topping. Now the ketchup. I mean, this is not haute cuisine or gourmet food. It's street food. So don't cringe when you see ketchup on this. And there we have it. The, for me, the ultimate Swedish street food, korma mousse or vesco salad for toppen. So mash, sausage, and West Coast salad. Now let's dig in. So the trick is to get a bit of everything. This is something so perverse if you think about it. The mix shouldn't work, but it really does work. It's pure comfort food. And where I come from, the Gothenburg area in Sweden, you have a special kind of street food like this called half special or heel special. And it's basically the same, but the sausage is served in a, in a bun, and then you put the mashed potatoes on top of that. So that's a half or heel special, like a half special or the whole special. And the difference between the two is the half special is just one sausage, and the whole special is two sausages in one bun. So if you're ever in Gothenburg, try halv or hel special. And if you're ever in the rest of Sweden, try korma mousse. Mm. This is so good. And you don't find this in restaurants in Sweden. You only find it in the gatukök, so the street kitchens. It's proper Swedish street food. It was something a bit special. I'm not sure any of you will try to make this, but if you do, let me know what you thought of it. I love it, I grew up with it. To me, this is pure Sweden on a plate. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please don't forget to 
click the subscribe and check the bell icon if you haven't done so yet. That's it for this time. Take care. Bye-bye.